Hey friend, in today's watercolor tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching how to paint the smooth gradient sunset featuring Monument Valley of Utah. Without further ado, let's get painting. For today's tutorial, I'm gonna be using Cadian Free Yellow, Permanent Rose, Dioxazine Purple, Paints Gray and Ivory Black by Windsor Newton, along with some white gouache. And my brushes I'm using are size two, size six, size 16 round Princeton brush, and the paper I've taped down is a size five by seven inches. To get started, I wanna fully saturate my whole page here with water. And I am going to be utilizing a lot of wet and wet technique for my watercolor sunset sky. And we are going to be layering a pretty good concentration amount of color um, from the yellow all the way through the paints gray for the sky and we are going to really need our page to be nicely saturated. Okay, to get started, I want to start with my Cadium Free Yellow, and I'm going to add our yellow to about, I would say almost halfway. And I'm gonna do a nice concentration of the yellow. And as I go, I wanna just grab a paper towel or just a bit of a paper towel just to wipe some of the excess liquid here pooling because we don't want it to pool back into our painting. So we've got our yellow down and now I wanna switch gears to our permanent rose color. And permanent rose, I'm gonna start by layering within the second third of the painting. And then I wanna bring it back down into the yellow to form a beautiful, vibrant, kind of rust orange color. And I'm bringing that all the way down, I'm just combining these two colors nicely. And again, just trying to control some of the excess water just a hair bit so it doesn't pull back into the artwork itself. Now I'm just adding a touch more of the rose color again and bringing it back down. From here, I wanna rinse my brush and add just a touch more cadmium yellow at the bottom. We're gonna be layering a good concentration amount of our colors today. Okay, and next up, I am going to add our purple, and that's gonna be in our upper third area here and I'm adding a nice deep concentration of it. And I'm blending it a bit with the rose color. Doing this left to right motion with my size 16 brush. Now I just wanna increase the depth in, in the saturation of the purple, so I'm gonna do another good layer of it and bring it all the way down to the rose area. From here, I would like to add some more rose in between the transition of the orange and the rose color. I just want a nice good pop of the rose to not be too, um, diluted by the orange and the purple. And I'm gonna bring some of this rose all the way up to the top. And then I'm just gonna rinse my brush off 
and bring a little bit more rows in this area and then drag it all the way down. Next up, I'm going to layer just a little bit more cadmium yellow. Again, moving left to right. I'm trying to get this eraser, <laughs> this eraser little fleck out of there. Okay. All right, now I'm just gonna take a little bit more paper towel just to get some of that excess liquid. There we go. All right, now I wanna add just a touch more purple. And then I'm gonna start adding some of our Payne's Gray. That's just gonna add a nice night sky for the upper third or so of the painting. So I'm just layering some Payne's Gray on top of that purple. And again, as the um, paint starts to be absorbed by the paper, it will lift in color. So it will appear a little bit lighter than it is now. So if you think it's too dark, it definitely will lift. All right, so here's my beautiful Payne's Gray Purple Blend. And now in this transition, I need to add more purple. And again, I'm just moving rather quickly in order for the page not to dry on us. So that way we get these nice soft blends. So here's our beautiful purple color. And then we are going to add some more rows. Lots of layers in this painting for sure. So we've now got this beautiful rose color. And again, I'm just doing this left to right motion. I'm gonna do just a hair bit more purple in this area. A little bit more rose. Bringing it all the way down to create that vibrant orange. And then I just want to blend some of this purple more with the rose transition. going to take some more cadmium yellow just to make this orange lighten up a little bit. And then I'm just cleaning my brush off with a touch more of the rose color and just smoothing this transition out. Maybe just a touch more yellow. And then I am just gonna let this sunset, sunset? <laughs> the sunset sky just sit and dry. Um, I'm also just gonna make sure I get just a little bit of this fluid that's kind of leaking out here. But I'm just gonna let this sunset dry and then when we come back, we will paint our silhouette of our Monument Valley along with our stars and our moon. Next up, I want to use our black to make the silhouette of Monument Valley. So starting with our black with my size 6 brush, 
I am going to go just about an inch up or so and do a swooping upward line, just like so. From here, I would like to do a horizontal line that's about, I would say an inch and a half tall. And I am just going to give this horizontal line a slight curve to it, just so it's not perfectly straight. And then from here, I wanna do a angled horizontal line. And then just to give it some of that curvature in the rock, I'm going to do a little bit of a bump up top and then do another one towards the right. And then from here, I'm just gonna do a vertical line to about halfway from this vertical line on the left. And then from there, I'm just gonna do a slight little dash line that's kind of got a curve to it. And then from there, I'm going to do a parallel line that doesn't quite meet the top yet of this horizontal line. So just a dash line here, and then another dash across at the top. And I'm gonna give this a slight curve to it at the top right there. And then I will just carry this down and then do a swooping kind of dash line to kind of mirror this other one. Then from here, I want to do another line that's angled upward. And this kind of monument here is gonna be slightly smaller than this first one. And I'm gonna start just by using the width of the tip of my size six brush to create this kind of hoodoo here. Then from there, I'm gonna do a small little dash line and then paint a vertical line that goes slightly higher than the hoodoo line. Not 100% sure if that's gonna be called a hoodoo, but hoodoos are in Bryce Canyon. And so I'm calling it a hoodoo today. From here, I'm just gonna do a horizontal line. And then I just wanna add a little bit of texture at the top, just doing a curved kind of mound-like texture. Then I'm gonna do a dash line going down towards the right, small, tiny dash line kind of curving out. And then I just do a vertical line, just like so. And then from here, I'm gonna do a curved line pointing towards the right, and then another one kind of more horizontal. Here, I just wanna kinda of increase this mound just a hair bit, just to bring it a little bit higher. Okay. And next, I'm just gonna use my black paint to just fill in the whole silhouette of Monument Valley. Now using my size two brush, I am going to use a good amount of some of our Cadian Free Yellow and mix it up with some of our white gouache. And I wanna use this color to do our moon and our stars. 
So with that, I'm gonna use my size two brush with the gouache and the mix of the cadmium yellow to paint our crescent moon shape. And for the moon, it's kind of like a C curve, just like my hand is doing, except it's slightly curved towards the left. So this kind of tail of the moon is slightly more outward and this one goes about like halfway through like the circle, if you imagine a circle here. So here, but move it this way. So with that, I am going to place our moon off towards about halfway up the, the sky here and a little bit towards the right. And I'm using really delicate light pressure with my hand. And just on kind of the innermost area of this C curve is where I'm gonna thicken up the C form. And at the very end, that's where it's the thinnest and pointiest. Okay. So you may wanna do a couple layers of this yellow just to get a good saturation of the color to pop. Okay, then from here, I may want to mix a little bit more white gouache with my yellow just to make it a little bit more opaque. And I want to do some really delicate, faint little white dots throughout the upper third of the sky where it's a little bit darker to create our stars. And with these, I just like to irregularly place the white dots and I just lightly tap with the tip of my size two brush. And I just wanna add a few just to incorporate in the sky and just draw your eye upward in the composition. And right now I'm just gonna use a little bit more of the opaque yellow to just make the moon pop a little bit more. And I'm just going to paint a touch of Arcadian Free Yellow directly over this kind of white gouache yellow blend. 
just to make that yellow pop a little bit more. I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial on Monument Valley in Utah. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any further YouTube tutorials. And be sure to tag me if you post your art on Instagram at Kendra Van Dreff. I would love to see your artwork.